Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. So, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to Parks Unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safer here. Dr. Breen again? I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. I wouldn't say that too loud. This is his base of operations. Welcome to City City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our parts of the main centers. I thought so much of much of the 17 that I elected to establish a in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City This 17 must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation so, coupon just like everybody else. beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here, somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon? Good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later.
Why has the Benefactors really know what's best for us. What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for mankind? Will they ever deactivate the suppression field and let us bleed again? Allow me to address the anxieties underlying your concerns rather than try to answer every possible question you might have left unvoiced. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far-reaching implications. It requires radical rethinking, revision of our genetic imperatives. It also requires planning and forethought and in direct opposition to our peace. I find it helpful at times like these to remind myself that our true enemy is instinct. Instinct was our mother when we were an infant species. Instinct taught us, kept us safe in those hard scrambled years. Always, always starts. First the bills, then, then, then the whole no block. Come to our place. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. They'll find one. Get in here, quick! Keep moving, head for the roof! 